Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this Twitter-like like animation for your website. So here we can see we have this uh, icon and if you hover over this, we have this uh, hover effect. And if I click on that, we have this animation and uh, the heart icon changes to red. And we also have this number increment. And if I click on it once again, it goes back to the previous state and we have the number decrement by one. So this is what we're going to design in this video using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called Twitter like animation and uh, I have opened it with VS Code. Now here I have a folder called images and in that we have this image right here. Now the first thing you have to do is create an image like this. So here we can see this is a PNG image. And in that we have all these frames of the animation. So this image consists of all these frames right here. And when we apply the animation, we are just moving this image from left to right. And it just goes through each of these images and we have this animation right here. So you need to create some type of image sequence for this type of animations. Now this is an image I got from the internet and uh, I'll also give you the link of this uh, source code so you can just access this image. But if you want to have a custom animation, you can just go ahead and make changes in these individual images over here. You can use any image editing tool for creating this type of images. Now when you create this image, you have to take note of the width and the height of the image. So right now the width and the height of this image is 2900 pixels to 100 pixels. So the width is 2900 pixels and the height is 100 pixels. So we have to write the CSS according to the height and the width of this image. Right now with that being said, let's go ahead and start with our code. So the first thing we will do is we'll create an HTML file. So let's click on new file and let's name it index.html and let's create a CSS file. Let's name it style.css and we'll also create a JavaScript file and we'll just name it main.js. Right, let's start with the index.html file. So in VS Code, you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Right now let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just tap link and press tab. And in the SRF I'll just tap style or CSS. And in the body let's link the JavaScript file. So let's tap script colon src and press tab. And in the src I'll just tap main.js. Right now let's start with the markup of this uh, design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division and we'll just give it a class of like button. And in that we will have a division for the BG. So here we can see we have this background shape when we hover over this uh, heart. So for that let's create a division and uh, let's give it a class of heart bg. And we don't need to add anything in this division. We'll just write the CSS for that. And then let's create a division for the icon. So let's create a division with a class of heart icon. And in that we will add the icon. Now we will add the icon using CSS. So we'll create a background URL and we will add the icon over there. Now this heart icon should be inside the heart BG. So let's cut this from here and let's add this inside this heart BG division. All right now the last thing we need to have is this uh, likes amount. So let's create a division with a class of likes amount. And uh, for now let's type seven over here. All right that's basically it with the HTML. Now let's go ahead and start writing the CSS. So we have already linked our CSS file over here. So let's go to our CSS file and before that let's go ahead and open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see that our design is displayed over here in the browser. Right now we can just see the likes amount. Right now let's go ahead and add the CSS. Now the first thing we will do is we'll just bring this to the center. So let's type body and let's give it a height of 100 viewport height. And we'll set the display to flex, align items to center and justify content to the center. And now we can see it is exactly in the center of the screen. Right now let's style the heart icon. So if you go back to the HTML, here we can see we have this heart icon inside the like button division. So let's tap like button, heart icon. And for the image we had set a height of 100 pixels. So let's set the height of this heart icon to 100 pixels as well. And we'll also set the width to 100 pixels because each of the frames in the image has a width of 100 pixels. So if you go back over here into the image, here we can see each of these uh, frames have 100 pixels width and height. 
right so let's go back to our CSS and uh, now let's add the image so let's type background and uh, let's type URL and in this we will add the link of the image so our image is inside images folder and in that we have the heart.png image and here we can see that our heart image is displayed over here now the next thing we will do is so we will add a background position so if you just type background position and uh, if you set it to right we can see that the last frame is displayed over here so if you go back to the image here we can see this is the last frame of the image so let's go back and uh, let's set it to left because the first image we need to have is this one right here and when we click on this button we need to go from the left to the right right now let's set the cursor to pointer so that when we hover over this we have this pointer now the next thing we will do is we will add the hover effect so if we go back to the original design here we can see when we hover over this we have this circle around the image now for that we have created this division with the class of heart bg so let's style that let's type like button heart bg and let's set the background color to RGBA 255, 192, 200 and 0.7 for the opacity and now we can see we have this background let's make it a circle so let's type border radius and let's set it to 50% and we'll also decrease the height and the width so let's type height and let's set it to 60 pixels and also the width to 60 pixels now here we can see that the icon is not in the center so we have to type display of flex align items to the center and justify content to the center and even for the heart icon we have to set the position to absolute and now we can see that it is exactly in the center now the next thing we need to do is we have to display this background when we hover over this so for that here in the RGBA let's set the opacity to 0 by default and let's add a hover effect for the heart BG so let's tap like button heart BG colon hover and uh, here we'll just type background and let's copy this line of code from here and I'll just change this to 0 0.7 and let's also add a smooth animation so let's type transition and uh, let's set it to all 100 milliseconds is right now let's go back to our design and if you hover over this we have the background displayed right now let's style this likes amount so if you go back to our index.html file here we can see we have this division with the class of like button and in that we have the heart bg division and after that we have the likes amount division so we need to have both these elements one next to the other so for that let's set the display of this like button to flex let's go back and here let's type like button and let's set the display to flex and let's set the align items to the center right now let's style this likes amount so for that we have a division with the class of likes amount so here I'll just type like button likes amount and uh, let's set the font size to 20 pixels let's set the font family to Roboto and let's set the color to 888 and we'll set the font weight to 900 and we'll also add a margin left so let's set it to 6 pixels right now the last thing we need to do is add the animation so first of all let's test the animation during hover and then we will add some javascript to make it clickable so for now let's type like button heart icon colon hover and we'll create an animation and we will name it like anim and let's set the duration to 0 0.7 seconds and uh, we will set steps now we have to set the steps to the number of frames that we have in the image minus one so if you go back to the image here we can see there are 29 frames in this image and uh, the first one is being displayed over here right now so we have 28 more images left so we have to set the steps to 28 and I will also show you what happens if you don't add steps over here so for now let's type 28 and here we need to type four words so that the last frame is displayed at the end right now let's create this animation so here I'll just type add keyframes and uh, we'll just name it like anim and the first frame is this image right here now let's add the last frame so we have to type 100% or you can also type 2 
and here let's type background position and uh, we have started from the left and we have to go all the way to the right so let's type right over here right now let's go back to the browser and let's hover over the heart icon and we can see that the animation is applied now if we just remove the steps from here let me show you what happens and now if you hover over this we can see that the image moves from left to right and we can clearly see it because uh, all the frames of the movement is displayed over here but when we add steps it will limit the number of frames being displayed so if we just type 28 which is how many frames we want to go to the right and now if you hover over this we have the correct animation being displayed over here right now the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to add this animation when we click on this icon so what we need to do is uh, we need to add a class to this heart icon when we click on it and when we add the class we will add this animation so instead of hover i just delete this and uh, let's tap dot liked so when we add the liked class to the heart icon, we will display the animation. Right now let's go to the JavaScript file and uh, let's add the click functionality. So if you go back to the HTML file, here we can see that we have this heart icon division. So we need to access this and we also need to access the likes amount. So we have a class of likes amount for that. Let's go to the JavaScript file and let's type const heart icon equals document.query selector like button heart icon and let's type const likes amount label equals document dot query selector like button likes amount now let's create a variable called likes amount and we will set the amount to 7 by default now in a real application you will get the likes amount from a database and uh, you have to store the likes amount which is updated back to the database but for now we just have this uh, variable over here we don't have any database so let's add an event listener to the heart icon so let's type heart icon dot add event listener and let's listen for the click event and let's create an arrow function over here and uh, we need to toggle a class called liked which we have created over here so let's type heart icon dot class list dot toggle and we will add a class called liked now if we have the liked class in heart icon then it means that we have clicked on the like button once so let's add an if condition over here and let's type heart icon dot class list dot contains and we'll check whether we have the liked class in the heart icon and if we have that then we need to increment this likes amount so let's type likes amount plus plus to increment it by one and here let's add an else and here we'll just type likes amount minus minus to decrement it by one and the last thing we need to do over here is to update this likes amount label. So let's type likes amount label dot inner HTML equals likes amount. Right now let's go to the browser and let's see whether it works. So let's click on the like icon and we have the animation and even the likes amount is changing. And if you click on this button once again, it goes back to the previous state and we also have the likes amount decremented so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add twitter like like animation to your website using html css and javascript all right so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day